In this video, I'm going to show you what do you mean by renaming, adding a note, and adding some uh, uh, comments to your particular actions within Power Automate. So I'm in a Power Automate interface. Now, if you uh, add a trigger and if you add an action uh, into your Power Automate, now this is quite stock standard, right? This is what all comes with out of the box, okay? But uh, now here, if you see in the data was action, what essentially I'm doing is what I'm telling is that when a case is added, you know, trigger this action only when a new case is added. Now, uh, but just by looking into this code, now if I give this code to uh, say uh, my colleague, my colleague might not understand it, might take a while for him to understand it. He needs to open the action and then, you know, uh, they need to interpret what this action does. Now, there are a couple of uh, items within Power Automate which we can do. One is like if you click on this uh, ellipsis icon, you can put a, uh, you can put, add a note or you can rename the action. Now, let's rename the action. Now, the renaming the action is, we can say, when a new case is created. Okay, this is that action. And if you want to be more specific what it is you can just say it is a trigger and if you want to be more specific you can say it is an automated trigger okay so it's a nice practice too it's kind of commenting your power automate okay so automated trigger when a new case is created now if you want to put some more details around it then you can add a note now the note is remember it's note is just 250 characters so we can put some verbal description like when a new case is created in d365 customer service this is just my description okay then change the owner to one of the teams okay let me add some more text lauren epson Put some more, some more text. I'm just putting some more text just to see what is the maximum limit which we can reach. Yeah, it's it's quite quite a bit, you know. So it's it's around I'd say 250. Okay, and if I just x out of it, then you see this particular comment. Okay. So this particular comment is only visible when you expand the action, if you want to know more things happening within this particular thing. So first, what we did, we renamed this. Okay, so this is just renaming the action. Second is we have added a note. So it is kind of adding some more details and uh, you know, more information on what this particular trigger might do. Okay. Third one is new comment. Now, if you do a new comment and if I say, hey, this trigger, needs some commenting edits okay now this comment is specifically for collaboration between your uh, team okay now if you post this and if you share this flow with your another colleague uh, then that colleague can see and then they can do an action and then based on that they can edit the comment and resolve the thread okay once this action is done so uh, if i'm alex okay i will come to this flow and then i'll try to see uh, I can edit the note and then I'll see, oh, there are some garbages written over here. Let me remove that time being and then I'll just remove this and I'm done with my action and then I can resolve the thread. Okay. Alternatively, I can also uh, ask my other team members. So if I go here and I can put a new comment and I'll say, so maybe Alex, okay, can you comment this? And then I can post it, then Alex will receive an email and then Alex can particularly work on it. Now, here I got uh, a notification that this flow is only exclusively to you. This recipient don't have access to this flow. Why don't you share and notify? So then it will uh, go one step further and then, you know, it will allow you to share this flow with Alex or your team members and then they can collaborate further. Okay, I'm not going to do that now, but this is how you can do it. It also says that we can't post this com comment unless you share this flow with all the ad mentioned users because it makes sense, right? Like for that user to receive those communication. 
So that's it, folks. This is all how we add a note, how we add a comment, uh, how we uh, rename the actions. So this is all collaboration feature. This will help your flow look neat, flow look um, comfortable, and uh, the flow look uh, more uh, user friendly so that anyone who is authoring this flow will have better idea on what this flow does and they can make this flow more efficient. Okay. So thanks for watching, guys.